Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mike from Mass Aquariums. Mass Aquariums, episode two, prepping your tank for some hard skate. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but it is very important to really wash your tank out and all your decorations, whether they're fake plants, real plants, driftwood, rocks, the works. Um, you really want to wash your aquarium down and get everything nice and clean. Now, that being said, you do not, I repeat, do not use soap, just water. If you have salt water tanks or you have an RODI system like I do, RO water is really good because it doesn't leave streaks, but tap water is just fine. Warm tap water, hot tap water, whatever. You want to get the dust out of your aquarium. You want to clean the aquarium that's been sitting in the pet store or wherever and get it nice and clean. It's gonna save you problems in the end. Now, I am just wiping down my aquarium with a paper towel and some water. Um, it might leave streaks, but it's gonna clear up later on and save me. And I'm gonna show you how I am going to rinse off my substrate, my rocks, and my driftwood. And I'm gonna show you a few tips. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, not only do you really, really want to rinse anything that's going in your aquarium, uh, freshwater aquarium, Anything can be rinsed with tap water, no problem. If you have RODI water, even better, but tap water is just fine. You want to get all these nooks and crannies that have been collecting dust or debris, um, anything that you have from anybody else's tank. Maybe you got it from a friend. Uh, you have no clue, but it's just a good practice to really rinse anything. So I'm just rinsing my uh, Dragonstone from ADU Aquascape and I'm going to show you a real good trick. So I've rinsed my stone, right? Awesome trick for rinsing your substrate. Five gallon bucket. How are you going to rinse your substrate? You're going to put it in the tub, you're going to just like sift your hands through it, get a five gallon bucket, drill some holes in the bottom of it, right? You're gonna go outside. You're gonna dump your substrate in this bucket. You're gonna put this bucket in another five gallon bucket with the holes in it. Run the holes and spray it. And just work your hands around the substrate. And the some substrate will fall through this holes, these holes, excuse me. That's why you're gonna have the other bucket to catch it. But you're really gonna be able to just rinse that substrate. Water will drain and substrate will stay, and that's how, uh, is, in my opinion, a really efficient and great way to rinse your substrate. So, I have rinsed my rocks for my hardscape. I have my bucket ready to go. I'm gonna go rinse my substrate out, uh, just like I told you, and we're gonna get hardscaping. Get ready, folks. All right, guys, so uh, what I'm gonna be hardscaping today is all this beautiful dragonstone from ADU Aquascape. This awesome piece of manzanita driftwood which is absolutely gorgeous from manzanitadriftwood.com. Boom! So stone, driftwood, my substrates will be Carib Sea Island Gold, Sand, and Carib Sea Floramax. Now, my plan is for the back left side of the tank to be all plants, and the front left and all the right side to be sand. Tons of open space for the fish to swim in, and I'm really looking forward to escaping this tank. Uh, the tank is clean, everything is rinsed. Um, I'm about to rinse my substrate, 
in the bucket I just showed you and then uh, I'm gonna get hardscaping and we'll go on to the next stay tuned all right folks here it is after a little bit of scaping and here and there um, I'm pretty happy with this I'm not sure if I'm gonna be getting one more piece of wood I feel like it just needs one more piece of manzanita but I'm very happy with how the lava rock came out, Dragonstone, and it, you know, the tank's a little cloudy, but as to be expected, I just filled it up about 10 minutes ago, um, more like 20, probably about 20 minutes ago, and the Fluval 406 has really, like, totally, like, cleared this tank up in 20 minutes. I thought I was going to have to shoot this, the rest of this video the next night, but it, is clear enough to show you um, what's going on now the dragonstone looks amazing from all different angles from you might be able to see a certain part but from the side it's got depth going towards the front of the tank um, in the back of the tank it looks great Let's see if I can just get a quick shot on the side still a little cloudy there we go. So this is all aqua soil and root tabs here. I'm gonna do a ton of plants right here. Uh, the dragonstone looks amazing, I think. Sorry about all the, the movement going on here. And uh, the manzanita looks great. I think I might order one more piece. I'm not quite sure, but this is my hardscape. And it's really important to wash off your rocks, uh, Get your driftwood washed off, boiled, power washed, whatever you need to do. Rinse out your sand, rinse out your substrates, and you still it, it's still going to be cloudy, but you know it is what it is. You can't get totally clear water in 20 minutes after filling it up. Um, my new house has these fancy schmancy uh, faucets, so I wasn't able to hook up my python. So I actually dragged the hose in from the outside and filled up the tank, which was fun. It's a good thing my wife was working. And she didn't see that but yeah so this is uh, episode two finishing up um, next episode we're gonna be talking about what I'm put what I put in my Fluval 406 uh, really excited about a whole bunch of new stuff in there and how it's gonna work and uh, aquascaping with plants I can't wait my boy Joey young you guys know his YouTube channel he's got a few plants coming in the mail for me. I'm going to hit up my boy Han Tran from Han Aquatics. Han Tran from Han Aquatics and uh, he's going to hook me up with a bunch of plants and we're going to keep this low tech. This is in one of my living rooms and I'm not going to put the CO2 tank on this one. Uh, we'll be in the next tank downstairs where the kitties can't mess with the dial and kill a bunch of my fish. Like that's already happened before. So uh, yeah, episode two hardscape i hope you like it um was very very easy to get the rocks in it was a little bit difficult to get them where i wanted them and to keep the substrates difficult um, once again i'm going to go over that in the next episode how i actually hardscaped it what's in my filter and what i'm going to be putting in for plants so i hope you liked episode two mike from mass get yourself a my aquarium box i'm out